Breaking story from Dallas ISD. As more kids head back to class today and COVID hospitalizations continue to rise as a result of that Delta variant, Dallas ISD says it will temporarily require all staff, all students, and all visitors to wear masks while on school grounds and in their facilities. I want to say hello to Alex Rozier who joins us now. And Alex, this is a very big deal when you look at Governor Greg Abbott's executive order saying that schools cannot legally implement mask or social distancing mandates. It feels like though this might be the first domino of many. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Mark, all of this just coming out in the last hour. Dr. Hinojosa, the superintendent of Dallas ISD, the superintendent of the se second largest school district in the state of Texas said a week ago this really wasn't on his radar, but as numbers continue to grow and the situation continued to worsen, he said he had to do what was in the best interest of the students and families in Dallas ISD, and that is what he did today. If we take you to some video right now, 41 schools in this school district went back to school this morning. It's the first day of a new year for thousands of students, and tomorrow there will be a new temporary mask mandate. Here's Dr. Hinojosa just minutes ago. Effective tomorrow, I'm issuing a temporary order that everyone on campus will be wearing a mask, staff, students, families, and visitors. So this will apply to coaches, this will apply to sponsors, this will be applied to athletics. There are some variations of outdoor activities that will be, you'll be able to do certain things and we'll be working with our teams on that. We'll continue all the other safety protocols as well, but wearing the mask. So there you have it from Dr. Hinojosa just minutes ago here at Dallas ISD. Again, this starts tomorrow, the temporary mask mandate. There are still some questions that uh, linger right now. The state has, says that the district could potentially face some fines if they implement such a measure. Dr. Hinojosa said whether he pays it out of his own pocket or the district pays it or anyone pays it at all, uh, they don't know. They have attorneys that they've worked with very closely on this with as, as well as local health officials. A number of people were involved in coming to the conclusion that Dallas ISD came to this morning when they issued this new temporary mandate. Mark. Yeah, uh, certainly there will be attorneys involved, but he mentioned the potential of a parental lawsuit against the state. We certainly saw at Arkansas over the weekend, a judge there blocking enforcement of that state's mask mandate. He talked about talking with Houston ISD. It sounds like he's gearing up for a potential fight here. Yeah, he is gearing up for a fight, and he, he frankly admits that he, he doesn't know how it's going to play out right now. He knows the decision that he made today for Dallas ISD, but there are a number of factors. As you mentioned, that lawsuit involving some families, uh, there's just a, the governor's order. Uh, we will see how this moves forward, but right now this is the decision in Dallas, and, and we're going to see how it plays out in the weeks ahead. All right, Alex Rozier, thank you for that report, and of course we will keep you updated as the story develops right here on WFAA.